what's stopping you from going for it? The thing that I would say probably holds me back is that I haven't seen myself as a priority for a long time. Uh, traditional or older days, we would see them value the perseverance of a relationship more than the fulfillment aspect. Everybody bases everything off of social media with their relationships, how much money they have, all this other stuff. So like the fulfillment back then is completely different from what it is now. You believe in aliens, though? I think aliens are fallen angels. So what happened when like grandma go up there? So she's not your angel. When people be saying that, they just be saying it. I think it's aliens in the ocean, shoot. So are the aliens in the ocean angels also? Welcome back to the 2B Fair Show. I am your host, Johnny P. Over here, real. It's Q. And we back. Oh. Hey, y'all boy, ain't them boys roasting me a little bit. You know, they roasting me a little bit about the rock, paper, scissors. Where? Mm -hmm. uh, Where? Hey, audience, I, I like to get y'all opinion. Would you say that Honey Barbecue, like if you go to any wing spot, would you, would you list that as like basic or exquisite? Like, is that like one of those ones that you get and you be like... I'm trying something nice and new. Uh, <laughs> it's not regular barbecue. We got honey in it. Yeah, yeah, it's not regular. It got, it got, it got honey. honey. <laughs> I'm according, according to Newton. This regular is how he said. He said regular it's barbecue. not barbecue. It got, it got, the honey is, is... And that's what he did. And I just wanted to know for y'all, like, do y'all think honey barbecue is like some exclusive fire shit yeah. to get if you go to like a wing spot that has like 42 flavors? Definitely um, not. 25, but... 25, 25 is still... My bad. <laughs> I'm just wondering. My bad. I ain't, I ain't want to steal your shot. No, no, it's good, man. Like I say, I enjoyed them. They were delicious. They were delicious. They were delicious. <laughs> exquisite. But, exquisite. Yeah, but I guess we'll go ahead and keep it pushing. We're mm -hmm. moving to the topics of the week. So I got a question. Um, what's stopping you from going for it? Um, Miss Amy kind of was a little bit of like that uh, that piece because of. She was like the last person when I was quote unquote going for it that I was in contact with. Um, and like there was a bunch of different things that stopped me from being like a quote unquote artist and pursuing that. But I think that if I'm being like completely honest, there is there is a part of me that when the opportunity was there and it was like starting to like self actualize, I got a little scared. Mm. And like, like, like sometimes. When you reflect, you're like, damn, like things lined up. And was I like, was I scared of the moment? Mm -hmm. um, and of course, like I said, it was a bunch of different other factors that I can kind of run down a line of, of which kind of contributed to me. But there's a piece where it's like, dang, what stopped you from going for it? Was it actually, say, like your son's getting older? Mm -hmm. um, was it the fact of like having to focus on career? Um, or was it, damn, like, the time is here. You're going, you're going to sink or swim. But the pressure's on you now. Mm. Um, and so that was some like little reflecting that I did. Um, but i like to know, do y'all feel like right now y'all are living in your purpose and your truth of what you feel like you wanted to do? And uh, if not, what's stopping you from pushing to actually do said thing? Uh, am I living... I feel like I'm a lot. What's stopping you from like grabbing your dreams? Dreams change as you get older and stuff. Mm -hmm. Perspective changes. So sometimes what you thought you might have dreamed ten years ago ain't necessarily you know what you what your actual dream is. And sometimes there's a. Can I ask you what uh what what was your big dream? Uh, I, I had a few. I mean, first off, I don't know. Like as a, as an adult, I'm I'm sure you had something. I probably wanted to be like more of a, and I guess I'm kind of doing it, but, but I wanted to be more of an influencer or somebody who was more in front of the camera. And I always mm -hmm. felt that I'm more of a mm -hmm. behind the camera guy, mm -hmm. uh, which is crazy. I'm saying this in front of a camera now, but mm -hmm. uh, I, I always, you know, as younger, I wanted to be like, you know, not famous, but I wanted people to know me for, you know, doing something. I just wanted to, you know, kind of like the YouTube influencer, you know. Mm. Uh, yeah. So what's stopping you from going 10 toes down in it? Me. 
I mean, anything, you know, I always think it's always on me because I don't try to blame nobody else or, you know, mm-hmm. give them. I know I get that. I get it is you, but what's stopping you? I mean, it's insecurities. Uh, it's sometimes, like you say, it's being scared or wanting to have everything perfect before mm-hmm. you jump. That's one of my big things is I'm like mm-hmm. a. I'm I'm gonna gotta have it all lined up for I mm-hmm. for I step out the bit even like before I leave or before I go somewhere I'm always like you know make, let me make sure I got everything let me make sure mm-hmm. you know I do that in life you know before I make a move before I do something and it does hold me back um, so yeah that's something I gotta work on that's something I thought is just jumping you know mm-hmm. it's, it's, sometimes you know you just gotta fly whether you're ready or not so that's yes yeah. for me and I said I know. To, uh, to continue and, and build on the conversation, something that at moments of trying to be successful um, inside different careers and different things like that, um, I think it's a concept that a lot of us tend to end up uh, struggling with, which is the imposter syndrome. Um, and which I know that there's a bunch of different moments. Are y'all familiar with imposter syndrome? It sounds like pretty much you not feeling as though you belong. Is that what you're saying? Um, or, or that you're worthy of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, at? like, you know, like, I feel like what's been given to me is not off of the volition of, like, my, my talent and work, mm-hmm. and I got lucky. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that, like, if I'm speaking specifically to me, that was always a piece of it. Like, like as being an artist, I was like, damn, am I going to be able to do better than this? Like, did I get lucky with how all this shit fell in place? Like, what happens if a beat play and, and don't nothing come out? Nothing comes out, yeah. Nothing comes, like, damn, like, that nah, shit, now I'm just being an imposter. So like what it, what what people think I am, mm. um, and so like that was like one of those little mental hurdles while being an artist in general always, but um, you know what I mean again can like lead you to doubt and then lead you to stepping away from something. Uh, so real yeah, actually the same question. Um, for me, I want to agree. I'm gonna agree with the, Johnny's first um, his first statement. For me, is that like I you know, I was in the music too, uh, as we all know here. Um, and, and for me, it's just that the things, what I thought I wanted to do changes over time. It's like, what, like that's like with drums. Back in the day in school, playing drums, I would get nice at a thing and I would love it. Mm-hmm. And then something else presents itself. After I, after I get to a point to where I feel like, okay, I can do that, then I go and pick up something else. Mm-hmm. And it'll be a momentary thing of me feeling like this is, this is it for me. Okay. And then after a few years, this is no longer what I want to do at this moment. Is that and, losing and interest or is it? Um... I, I think it's a bit of losing. Yeah, a bit of losing interest. And then one thing I would say is that um, as far as the music thing goes, what made me kind of want to step away from that is um, I allowed people to influence what it was that I like to do. And then I allowed them to influence me into making it more of a job. And instead of it being like just the creative portion of me just kind of going with what naturally feels right, trying to recreate a certain thing with something that I started trying to do mm-hmm. and recreating a certain feel. And it's like, no, you shouldn't be trying to recreate the certain feel because if, it, if it's, it's, it's a natural feeling, it'll come back at a point and you'll get that again. But trying to forcefully recreate the thing is where I start to lose the love for, for the writing. Mm-hmm. And... <clears throat> And, and honestly, at this point now, I find myself trying to even find out. And I've asked myself this multiple times. I've done different things along the way. And at this point, I don't really even know. Other than this, this is definitely what I, I want to do. Uh, just being able to sit up and just speak my piece. Because I'm like, I don't really care what, how people, what people think. I'm going to tell my truth. And you know what I mean? If you disagree, that's fine. I, I, I like the conversation. But um, so I find, you- outside of this, I find it hard to like... And, and then, you know, with everything that's going on, work and, you know, me changing sectors and relationship and kids. and. But if we take all of that out, mm-hmm. um, is there a big dream that you that you have? Like, like if all things was perfect in the world, like like an overarching, like big thing, like whatever, like, quote unquote, the, the dream is. Um, do you have one of those? I would say for me, and, and, and this is like God honest truth, whatever it is. 
it is not like specific to like me as an individual, my individual dream. I don't really have one of those. My dream is really tied to fam to my family. So like my kids, the, my dream is literally just directly attached to that. So whatever it is to obtain. So you this, have like a dream of like, say, whether it's like being self-sustainable and off of just making beats or something like that'd be an example of like a dream um, or a thing. Or I don't know, like, like getting multiple rental properties in which I'm now like stepped away from like having to punch any clock at Oh, at I mean, XYZ. to me, that's not like, I guess that's not, I don't look at that as like I'm a dream. I'm about to say that's a goal. Like, yeah, yeah. Well, I, I guess those, those are goals, like but I, I guess that's I'm just... using different little things to kind of like trick, try and find a trigger to something. Yeah, like, no, I mean, uh, I, I mean, at the end of the day, of course, it's good. The, the, the end goal is to not have to punch in a clock in order to sustain the lifestyle that I choose for myself and my family. Right. So, I mean, that is it. But I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like like getting real estate, that's just boxes to be checked. That's just a part of the plan that's going to get me to the same thing, which is the family. I don't really, it's not like an individualistic thing that I just like really love doing so much. Other than I want to be able to, I, I, to, to sustain the relationships that I have with the people that I have. And however I'm able to get, we all can get there together and we can do the trips and all of that stuff. But I don't really have like a, a, a like. So a, you don't have like a, a, a big dream that you are like pursuing or trying to get to? No, in just, just the, the, the pod, you know what I mean? The show. No. And then just the kids, yeah, that's really it. I don't mm -hmm. really uh, have like no thing that I just like love doing so much these these days. It's kind of I, I ain't think about it either because until he asked me, I was like, damn, what? Yeah, what is it? No, I was about to say though. It's like I think when you when you hit your thirties and stuff, you kind of get away from the dreaming as much as actual actually. But my what, question is, what's the actuality? You? And I guess to me, I I, I don't. Maybe I'm different. I, I am uh, driven by really big goals. I still have an answer uh, to your question. Okay, way, cool, cool. Yeah. Because I, I, like, I, I have to have something really big that I'm pursuing. Because yeah. that's what motivates me to get up there. I, I'm kind of like that, um, too. And, but, yeah, tell me. Um, I would say like the thing for me um, that stopped me uh, amongst different things, and I'm still getting, I'm really getting better at this. I've gotten better at it, but it's been the thing that stopped me forever. Like, um, I've heard somebody say before that you won't be consistent with anything that's inconsistent with what you're consistent with. And that right there is like what it really is for me. Like the stuff that I'm consistent with doesn't really leave room for the stuff that I want to do, that I want to become consistent with is, is what I feel sometimes. And it's because, and, and literally it's like, it's things that go together. Like how you were saying, Johnny, with, um, things not being in perfect order. Like I have a way that I want things to be. So if it's not lined up in that order, it's hard for me to build some new habit that I'm consistent with. Like, for instance, I want to get, mm -hmm. I, want, I want to really work out every day. I really want to do that. But for me to do it, it's like the stuff that goes on with life that's still going on there that I, that I am consistent with. I'm having a hard time adding that in. At least I feel, I know it's a way to do it. There, like, I really, I'm just making an excuse right now. But so I'm just Tom, giving the answer is, to the what question. What is your big dream? Um, big dream right now, I would like to be. Not right now. I'm talking about, like, big dream. Like, to me, I, I know you to, like, want to be an artist. I've always wanted um, to be an artist, And yeah. that's, to me, like, that might be, I don't know if that's still your big dream. Oh. And if it's not, it's, I, I would still ask the same question. What's, what stopped you from continuing to pursue it? Or if it still is, what's stopping you from pursuing it? it I reached the age of 35, and it was like, man, I want to be an artist, and I ain't made it yet, and I kind of just got down on myself about it. Mm -hmm. And, like, and, and it's something, like, I didn't even see it coming. It's just, it, it kind of has... Yeah. I've been because I've been thinking about it even like recently. I've always been a person that made music, even like since I was little. I've always mm -hmm. written songs, mm -hmm. like, and it got to a point where like I just wasn't coming up with anything anymore. I mean, like, even not just writing, I literally walk around mm -hmm. through the day and I make up songs all day. That's always been how I am. Like, it got to a point where I just didn't really feel the intention in writing anymore. Like, man, ain't nobody even hearing this stuff. Kind of got down mm -hmm. on myself for the stuff that I've done in the past. That's like kept kept me from putting out music so it's like just those same yeah. things that added up to a point of yeah I'm, i haven't done it done it yet maybe i need to focus in another area mm -hmm. i think i have an answer to now because i didn't actually answer the question that you posed just kind of the preceding questions after mm -hmm. um the thing that i would say probably holds me back is that i don't i haven't seen myself as a priority for a long time mm. I haven't okay. seen myself as a priority for a long time, and it literally, you know what I mean? That's one of those big just, things as you get older, for sure. And that's just a part, and I feel like 
it's it it shouldn't I guess it, it shouldn't be uh that way. Mm-hmm. But in, in my mind, the responsibility comes before me. Mm-hmm. All of the responsibilities are more important than me. I'll be okay. You know what I mean? I'll find a way to make myself feel okay throughout the process of, you know what I mean, actually um taking up uh, taking and executing the responsibility portion of my life. And at the end of the day, like to me that, that became what was most important. That became and has become what's most important. And um and I think that also like me changing sectors is mm-hmm. a bit of me kind of prioritizing myself. Uh me changing job sectors. Um is kind of doing something for me. Um yeah, doing something that I, I would much rather be doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then maybe this will allow me to free up the brain space and and the uh time to actually uh think about the thing in depth enough to to actually manifest something and actually possibly re or find myself again. Mm-hmm. Because it's it's once the once you have to uh, at least for me, um the responsibilities start piling up and I just feel like that's what makes a man is is acceptance of responsibility and the execution of such of right. those. And so I just stand on that and that that's just literally kind of veered me away from anything that I would have said, this is for me. This mm-hmm. is what I want to do. And this is my goal of, of you know what I mean, for my Do you think life. that it's important for us to, to keep a thing, though? I, I think that it is. Um, I think that the, the, the biggest reason, at least that I've, well, at least for me, and I'm just going to speak for myself, the biggest, biggest reason for me um, that to keep up that, keep the thing is that you start to fill your idle time with unproductive things whereas that right there having your thing is productive Mm -hmm. but if you don't have that for yourself then you'll just do a lot of unproductive things vices and you know what i mean you you veer away from who you intend who you want to be for yourself Mm -hmm. versus who you want to be for everybody else Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and not saying that you're like faking anything i'm just saying who you want to be for the people that you love who how yeah Mm -hmm. or nonetheless who you have to be Yes, um, you have to. Let be. me let me add one before you go ahead. before you go. And I was gonna say it, it's it's important to have something, but you can't be too attached to it to where if it changes, you're not flexible. Mm. Okay. Uh, so you always and like I say, sometimes it's not. I think we might even talk about this last week. Sometimes it's not necessarily the destination, but it's the journey. Mm. You know, if you <laughs> if you like driving, going someplace ain't never gonna be an issue for you. Right, because because I like to get in the car and drive. So if you say mm-hmm. I got to drive here, it don't matter because I like drive. So if you like that journey, if you you know find yourself, oh, I like getting better. I like learning. I like mm-hmm. improving mm-hmm. myself. Yeah, 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 mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, that's fine. And and the destination could change, right? You right, know, right. but it's all about that journey of self of self of self improvement. And so that's also a big key. Mm-hmm. You know, like you do want to you know know where you're going, but you also want to be flexible and not like mm-hmm. so stubborn that like. You try to drive through dead ends, or you know, mm-hmm. try to make a way where there's no way, you know. Yeah, no, nah, I, I definitely get you. Um, I think that all right. So if I'm answering the question now, um, I think I gave like pieces of answers, but I haven't answered it fully. Um, big dream. I think that um, big dreams probably usually my big dreams have always uh, revolved around being a creative. Um, that's music. Uh, Making making music, uh, creating music in different capacities, um, whether that's production or writing, um, and then I've always had like a, a super love for basketball. So like those are my 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 two things. Um, in which, if asking myself uh, in both of those capacities, um, obviously basketball that, that changes into like coaching and shit like that. Um, what's stopping me? Uh, I think that a lot of what what Rail hit on would be pieces where to an extent you get lost in the things that you have to do that you end up not being able to do the things that you want to do all the time. Um, And like with that, I find myself because of I spent probably like the past five years being busy. And when I'm not busy, I struggle with idle time. Mm. So for me, it ends up being a space where like I hate having like free Saturdays or free Sundays or free whatever, whatever days. Or even if uh, after work, I don't have anything to do. That ends up being a struggle for me because of uh, in the past, I was always like filled with a goal of some kind mm-hmm. or whatnot. And like 
being a father has helped me in the sense of like it fills the idle time. So a lot of times it's like, all right, well shit. Well, QJ, you got a big goal, so I can just I can like help you push towards that mm-hmm. thing. And like I've just been like been able to like like transmute some of that energy and time over there. But when it's just me, then I'm struggling again. It's like, mm-hmm. damn, maybe I should just you know play some beats or something. Maybe I should do whatever. Um, and I think that what stops me, there's a piece. Uh, I think insecurity will be one. Mm-hmm. Um, because I think like Tone said, we, we, we 35, 36 years old. There's always a space of like. Nigga, why are you trying to like make music at 36? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Why are you trying to be art? But then there's a part where you got to be like, damn, am I making it to be big or am I making it to be happy? Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah. And I think that that's like a really, really big balance and peace. Yeah. Um, same difference when it comes down to like, like coaching and shit like that. Like I always teeter back and forth. I'll not coach for like nine months and then find myself fixing yeah. situations to where I end up fucking coaching. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Um, and like that obviously is something that I enjoy. There's a creative space to that that I've really, really enjoyed. And what's stopping me from kind of being ten toes is still that same insecurity. Um, the imposter syndrome. Um, like even with success, you might feel like, damn, I'm not good. Oh, this shit just got like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, so like that's something for me that I end up like, you know, balancing and battling with. And like I said, just to, you know, bring it full circle. Sitting with Miss Amy and that being like a little piece where I'm like, huh, damn, you are a reflection of the last time I really did go hard. What stopped you? So, yeah. Yeah, I also think like, um, dang, I lost my train of thought. I was about to respond to something you had just said. Well, it looked like you got a lot of your mind. No, I was thinking uh, the way the way you spoke, the way you speak about the um, the the insecurity portion of it mm-hmm. um it almost it almost and, it, and it's crazy because it made me think about what was going to be possibly my question for today mm-hmm. it was about the uh, the idea of like when did you find out what your value was when mm-hmm. did you where do you you know what I mean when did what age do you find out your value and the thing is is that I think that there's a level of insecurity that will kind of always of kind course of and I think that especially if you're an life. artist like they say this about artists and comedians is that um, typically there is a validation piece that you're seeking and searching for. Yes. Um, and like that's a part of being inside that field. Um, one of the things I've had to do to counteract that, this is what I was going to say a minute ago. You have to think sometimes too, like when I have bad thoughts about myself, I look like, or those type of thoughts that's like leading me down a path of that way. I look at, I, look, I take myself out of the picture and try to look at it like I was outside of myself or I was looking at somebody else's situation. In mm-hmm. the same way. And it's like, would I think that about them? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like, and that's really one of the things. I wouldn't think that about them. Like, if somebody told me they're 35 and they want to rap, and I'm not going to think anything of it. Like, yeah, just don't hey, put do up your house, thing. my boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, don't put up your yeah, house. Yeah, just, just don't put up yeah. your house, my boy. Yeah, but it's yeah, just like, don't do that. It, it Definitely like, don't put the crib up, man. It wouldn't be a big deal to me, though. Like, it, mm-hmm. unless that's like, yeah, unless you're just not doing anything else in life and that's all you're focused on. But, you know, if you're doing your stuff, you're handling your responsibilities and you like making music, yeah, you should make music. Like, yeah, no, I, I agree. I agree. I had, I was trying to figure out because uh, cause you, you were speaking on that like that, that insecurity piece about like you know as far as like just like being creatives mm-hmm. and like when when what you're doing is validated by what other people think about what you do you know that's when when you you know you gotta almost not even listen to that and just do what you want to do and do what makes you happy because if you worry about the outside world. It's know. such a balance, especially yeah, when, it's it, when, when, it, when it's very like very the idea, so. because of, sometimes you are pushed by, I mean, truthfully, you're pushed by that validation. Yeah. Like, if I wrote something fire, I want my niggas to hear it and react a specific I'm, way. I'm waiting for the face. Right, right, right. I'm waiting and if for that, the face. If that face don't happen, then it's like, man. Or if I just made a well, dope I mean, graphic, I'm like, like, let me throw this in, see, see if niggas actually give me give a reaction. Mm. Oh, that shit might not have hit then. Like, yeah, like it's, yeah. it's just like, it's it's a natural piece of the creative space. Well, you got to um, hear that validation. Where it, it just is what it is. Um, what I will say is, hey, we turned up today. We have, uh, we have a, a, a guest here who um, is somebody that I, I, I would like to say is somewhat living out the dream of being a creative. For sure. Um, and he has like, like, he just shot for the big three this weekend. 
Um, like he's getting paid to do the thing that when we was all inside a collective, we all was pushing to be able to do for a living. Mm -hmm. Um, in which like he went from working a nine to five to working by himself for himself. Um, and I don't know, we got quests in the building. Um, and I would, I would love to hear just like a, a take on this a little bit. This is a small take, whatever you got for us. And happy belated too. Man. No, yeah, happy yeah, birthday, big happy, happy belated, birthday, brother. I didn't realize our birthday was so close. Mm -hmm. um, let me see. So, all right. So, I ask you this it first can question. Up, it can raise. Um, do you feel like you are currently living uh, your dream, or a, at least a piece or a portion of your dream? Um, I would say yes. Um, to be hot with you, like I didn't really have. I didn't really have a, a, a dream until probably like after college, because mm. um, I've been doing videos since high school, so it was just like a, just a thing we did. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I say I am kind of living out my dream, and I'm. I, I just realized that this year, like, like I quit my job in 2019. Pandemic hit. Thought I was going to get another job, but it, it like everything just started going coming to me like right after that. And it, it was just crazy how everything uh, played out. But I think my main thing was I hear y'all talking about, like, family and stuff like that. I was always big on not bringing anything into my life that was going to interfere with my dream. Mm -hmm. Even if it was a girlfriend or a child or whatever, I'm not dealing with none of that until I get to where I want to be. Mm -hmm. And So you um, pri prioritize self. Yeah, and dealing with certain females, that was a problem. Mm -hmm. and, it, I, and it was like, hey. Quest, you know, why you the over boat? there editing that video still? Come <laughs> Not, give me a hug. It wasn't nothing like that, but it's like, <laughs> Come man, on. you trying to be in a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it wasn't nothing like that, but you trying to be in a relationship with me, and I'm not even in a place where I want to be. I don't yeah. see myself bringing you into my life mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on a consistent basis. We can chill or whatever, but yeah, nah. But, um,. I still, I it's crazy because I just seen an um, Instagram post that I commented on, and um, and the guy was like, uh, "What did he say?" He said he's proud of where he's at, but he still feels like he he, he can do more. Mm -hmm. And he of was course. like, he's like, he shoots behind the scenes for like a um, like a, a I think it was like the Detroit Lions or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But um, but yeah, and I said so I feel him because like now I'm here shooting for Toyota. Uh, at the big three, and plus I do other stuff for the, like other festivals and whatever they affiliated with. It's a lot of urban stuff. Um, I still feel like it's more. It's more that I can do. Is mm -hmm. is. Um, but yeah, I'm living my dream and it's going good. So I mean, that's all I got to say. So. so I have a question for you. Uh, at what point did did the yeah, right. thing that you loved, or did it ever? Did the thing that you loved to do ever turn into work for you? Like in your mind, the way you feel about doing the thing, does it does it still feel like what you love doing, or it, or does it just feel like I I could be punching somebody else's clock? I'm still putting in or even more hours, or you know what I mean? Does it did it transition into work, or is it still like this is what I love to do? Um, I mean, it still feel like work. Like yesterday, bro, I was ready to go, but mm. like <laughs> it was still like um yeah, it still feels like work. Because um, I guess in my field, now that it's, it's like one of the most th things that everybody wants is video. Mm -hmm. and, one, and then like back then, like when we first started, it wasn't. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, it still feel like, it, and it really depends on what I'm shooting too. Like this tour, I've been on tour, so I've been gone every weekend. Mm -hmm. So now it's like, all right, bro, I'm tired of this now. Let's, I want to do something different. So like when I go back home, I usually do like uh my my, my you know my clients I got back home or around the area, mm. I can get creative and do some other stuff. But like now that I'm doing this every week and it's a consistent thing, it's like man I'm ready to, you know yeah yeah ready to get this over with, move on to something else. So of course it sounds like you got a lot to say. We got a we got a nice little open spot here on the couch. Um, I don't know, fellas. What y'all think? Should we add Quest on? Yeah, bring them, bro. Bring them on. Bring them on. We didn't, uh, you know, recalibrate it. We we got your boy, guy called Quest on with us. Mm, uh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, man. Shout out for the the the, the, the BTS shots too, man. And no, for sure. Tough, for sure. tough. But uh, we'll, we'll we'll keep it moving along, and we'll get into some other topics. All right, fella. So my topic for the uh, for the week. Um, it's going to go into a little bit of like the traditional versus modern-esque conversation. Um, I was talking to Q and he was talking about um, a podcast that, you know, we both kind of are familiar with. Uh, we, we need to talk. Um, and mm-hmm. and shouts to them. They're doing a good job. But, we, you know what I mean? Either way. Uh, what I was going to, what the topic is, is going to be, um, do you think that as the time has gone forward, Whereas we've seen in the, in the uh, traditional or older days, we would see them value the perseverance of a relationship uh, more than the fulfillment aspect. So, you know, just persevering through not being fulfilled, whereas now we see in the modern relationships, people are prioritizing fulfillment in relationships. Uh, where do you stand or what do you think about that um, idea? I start because I, when you first said it, I kind of, in my head, I think, it's what you value, mm-hmm. because we've seen what the perseverance gives. Like we see our grandparents, like we see what they have created, and we see the community, we see where they come from, we see the people that they, you know, put out there. And I think it's pretty good. I think that is something to be valued. With the fulfillment aspect, I think it, is, it will take some time for us to maybe see how that works, mm-hmm. and see like twenty years down the road how some of these fulfillment relationships ended up playing out Mm -hmm. but if family is like the biggest thing we talked about you know community and family and all of that stuff i think perseverance there's there has to be a place for it because Mm -hmm. if you always just running to you know chase you know fulfillment outside of your relationship it's it's always something else that could fulfill you Mm -hmm. but that perseverance to stay locked in and create something I guess it's going to end like short term versus long term, you know, satisfaction. Sometimes that fulfillment, it'll give you short term. Like, I'm happy now. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy now. It's like microwave versus the oven. Uh, so we got to, you know, this is what you prioritize. And we'll see how it play out. But there is something for that perseverance, though. And we'll see how these other relationships, 10, 15, 20 years down the road, we'll see. Mm-hmm. I guess if it was really worth it. I guess I'll hop in. Uh... I'm going to go with the fulfillment side of things. Um, and I would say that, like, in general, as uh, as gods, the perseverance part probably is, like, the easier space. Um, where the accountability part comes in at, comes in when it has to deal with fulfillment. Uh, where actually being inside a fulfilling relationship takes work. Um, it takes a lot of like intentionality. Uh, it takes a lot of growth where I think the perseverance is needed for sure. But that being like the space in which you hold your hat on, I think it's kind of like it's tough because of to an extent that could also just mean how long can I go through the struggle? How long can I be unhappy? And I don't think that that's specifically like a thing to be proud of as much as like how long have we been happy? I think that I'll probably want to hang my hat on that a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, like, Rail has made points where I think it's also true, where, like, there's never going to be a moment where you're happy all the time in a relationship. Like, that's a fantasy. That's Disney. Um, but in general, trying to continue to seek and find, like, those moments and being happy. And, like, when you're not happy, working your way back to being fulfilled, working your way back to... uh Happiness, I think that that is probably like, and I think it's important. And I think that inside 2023, where the reality of relationships is that in the past, perseverance was heavy because of we needed each other. In 2023, the average relationship, you have to want each other for it to happen mm-hmm. because of everybody's working. Everybody, everybody can work. kind of like, if you're, if you're having, if you're dating a woman that, has been an adult for like 30 years. She probably is able to provide for herself and do everything for herself. So it has to be a certain level of want that comes in within it. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's my that's my piece. I was going to say, I mean, I agree with you too. I, I do agree with you. But you said something also about like how long have we been happy? And the thing is, because they needed each other back then. 
But if you got all the options today and you can go and choose whatever you want to do, you, you still options. have to have the perseverance to go back and make that choice I every heard. time. And it's a press. It's still the fulfillment is important, but it's not always going to be there. The perseverance always. I, I, that's has why to I said, like, I think that perseverance, like, it's not either or. But the perseverance but I think that always has in, to be there. Versus fulfillment the fulfillment always has to be there. So and I was going, I was going to try and, and and I was hoping that you would let me, uh, I would get to chime in at the Quint, uh, at the Q did, uh, because I think I agree. It's just a which word do you feel has the uh, most? Powerful. It's the more valuable, more important, yeah, or the more pointy, uh, like you know, a point of interest. Um, and for me, as Mister Traditional, I definitely still stay uh, stay with the uh, the um, goodness gracious. Stay on the side against it. What is the damn perseverance? I stand with perseverance. Um, I believe that at the end of the day, like, like I always say, you you're gonna and and the idea of like being miserable uh, for the rest of your life. I think that even in even in, in those times, you know, those relationships that are back in the day, the relationships of old, the perseverance was the most important thing to them. But they also wasn't just miserable there the entire time. You know what I mean? In, in movies, you could see that they they paint it that way, but like. In the reality of like be, being around those older relationships, you will still see that level of like um, of love and and that they, they 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 of course they don't show it like they do it in the movies because that's just you know that's just Disney. But at the same time, I think that the fulfillment is going to come and go, just as like but perseverance, as you said, I believe perseverance is choosing the person every day. And then uh, with, even with the understanding that I will feel unfulfilled right. in periods of time and I won't be able to say uh, how long it'll be. Uh, but again, if the if the idea is for us to persevere, then we, we still have a common understanding that there is going to be a level of fulfillment that is required in order for that to be maintained. Um, and uh, the the I think that the the idea of like the fulfillment and then to to to. To debate long-term relationship versus short-term relationships, uh, to me, I don't even think that that's like the the goal that everybody's having is not to have multiple short-term relationships. They're of trying course. to have persevered relationships, and that's the goal. But then they caveat it with fulfillment as well. Well, no, I, I think and, that in twenty twenty three, the way that you have longer-term relationships, and I mean, I think this also literally applies to older people as well, because mm-hmm. they're going through this exact same thing, and you see a lot of older people. Uh, like having fractured in relationships that are breaking up right now because mm-hmm. of we are like it's just it's a different time frame mm-hmm. in which what perseverance over time looks like is different because of the wants and needs column looks way different um and so in the past perseverance especially on the man's part um or yeah or yeah I put it on the man's part where it was a, it was easier because we had to do less. As long as you bring it, bring it, bring in the bacon, and like you wasn't the craziest person, um, like especially if the woman wasn't working, like she probably wasn't about to go anywhere. Like she needed you, literally needed you. In comparison to now, where in most relationships, both people are probably equally yoked. Like if we go down down the stats of like what women actually bring, mm-hmm. um, like financially, shit, they probably are making more than whoever they're with. Mm-hmm. Um, like if we just speak statistically, in which now there there has to be a different part. Like there is a more of a human nature, me a human piece that comes to it, where like both people actually have to have. And again, in reality, when we talk right now, for a relationship to sustain for an extended period of time. There has to be a level of fulfillment that a person wants to be with you, and, and and I'm glad that you brought went back to where you were because I want to disagree with something else. It's the idea of us not needing, or or today you, or back then they needed each other, and now you just have to want the person. Yeah. I I say that 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 today, and just like we were, uh, was Q was here, uh, and he was talking about, and it, you remember I actually made it a thing when he he said. Uh, I need my wife. Right. And I, so, I guess, though, so, like, on, that's I'll the theoretical little, way. I'll let you get I'm, your spiel. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Let me get, thank you, sir. Uh, so what I was saying is uh, the idea that we that we just don't need each other 
the idea that we in society in relationships that the idea that we don't need each other we just really want to choose somebody that we want to be around and then even even if you go back to like what Kevin Samuels was talking about is but it's one thing to need here, the person we we can sit here and talk about uh you you can you can be single for the the rest of your of your adulthood until you know the end you can be single but do you know how much it's going to it's going to cost for when you can't work to get survive on social security if it's still here so even even as it stands today it takes two social security checks so you can act like you don't like oh you're doing so well well i mean hopefully you got you're going to have some m's saved up so that you can live the rest of your life let's say you live to 85 from 67 to 85 where you're just collecting social security no that's not you can't do that. You can't do that. So that's why I'm saying we need each other. So we can sit and think that like, oh, I just want to want somebody and and they're there for all of that stuff. The thing is, is that we're going to see and when, when we get our parent, let's say when we get another 20 years, another 25 years from now, again, we'll see what where the relationships with this whole, this new idea of the modern relationship, we're going to see what that, is that actually successful? We're going to see. Aren't people, we're people gonna are see, uh, actually divorcing at a lower rate right now okay, than they did but, over, uh, like, like, in, our, in our parents' generation. Okay. Um, I mean, but, uh, yeah, let me, I mean, we can go into like, like all statistics this stuff, though, but I would assume it? that the statistics that we are married a lot less than our parents were too. There's a lot of things to go into that statistic as well. But I mean, because people saying, are just choosing who they actually want to be well, with. I, I, a lot more. But hold on, before we, I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you just hop in. Um, but like, I, I don't, I don't want to get into get like the, like. Shit out. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> oh, you ain't get all your shit out? It's, it's, a, it's out now. Go ahead. All right, then I guess you were saying that just to say it. Um, <laughs> uh, <exactly>. So, <laughs> no, I, all right. No, you said you got it all out. So I just wanted to make sure, like, you pushed and you sat on the toes and you got your shit out. All right, out. you got it, bro. But you got your shit out. So um, I guess what, I, what I'm saying is, like, I don't want to get caught inside, like, this theoretical, like, we need and we want. Because that shit starts sounding good. But, like, the reality is that are we, are we not going to pretend that how our grandmothers and great-grandmothers needed the, uh, their, their uh, partner yeah. Yeah. is different than today? And that, it's, like, it's like totally that's different. what I'm, that's that's what I'm saying. It's like, totally it's literally different. different. Do we have, like, in a sense of like, we're in a relationship, and I need my partner, and I love her, and like, uh, like she brings the like inside the, like the, it's more metaphorical, and it's it's more like you know what I mean, like things that you want to do to need the person, but like the literal part when we talk about living day to day, like yeah. it's it's way different. And like it's it's more of a choice that is put on people right now. I think yeah. I think what's important, especially based on where we come from historically, if you look at the dynamic and how it switched mm-hmm. into modern times, I think it's kind of we're almost saying we're almost saying the same thing. But I think what's neat is men nowadays need to focus on their partner's fulfillment more so, and women because they have more options than they typically had. Perseverance should be something that they probably focus in on more. So if you look at these genders, I'm not they, opposed to that. I think that, that's like, a great way to. Uh, men probably need to it. take more look at how do I be a better partner and make my part, make my woman more fulfilled. And women probably need to take a look at that. Me thinking about perseverance. No, I actually like, I, I agree with that. And how do I make the choice to be with this guy every, even when I'm not fulfilled? We got questions. So, I think we added questions. Go ahead. I think quest. the fulfillment is completely different now than back then. Yeah, because it's like everybody sure. is social media. Is everything is social media? Everybody, everybody mm-hmm. bases everything off of social media with their relationships, how much money they have, all this other stuff. So, like the fulfillment back then is completely different from what it is now. No, that's so, facts. That's for like sure. when you're trying to fulfill somebody. It's like what, like what, what are you being influenced by? You gotta, you gotta, you, yeah. what's really fulfilling? Yeah, what, yeah, like, what, like, yeah. Like, 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 what is because the true right now? Everybody's of... doing a lot of pretending. It's like, mm. and then they pick and choose. In it. Like, I think it was you that said it yesterday. Like, it might have not been you, but people are do are doing stuff because it's trending. It might not be you. It might have been my boy Scotty. People yeah, do stuff based it. off of trend. Trend. No, it won't be you. Yeah, it but... definitely wasn't you, Q. Oh, you were talking about you? <laughs> no, I was talking about you. But I, I can't. I just remember yeah, when we were sitting there. Knew what they never said. Nah, <laughs> but people <laughs> pick, pick and choose what's trending to to pick what they want to do with their lives. So it's mm-hmm. like, what what are you picking? What 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 do you consider fulfillment now? Because like everybody back in the day, everybody was on the same boat. So, oh yeah. shit. 
Yeah, no, I mean, I agree with that too. Uh, and then one of the big things is that if you are heavily influenced, if you are heavily influenced by social media, then, and that's what we talked about too, red yeah. flags and all that. We've had those kinds of conversations is, is, is you know, p picking appropriately and, and, you know, vetting processes and all those things. Because if you, if you were figuring out, uh, cause this is the, this is the worst part about the internet to me or social media is that you can validate whatever you want to do because somebody is pushing the same thing that you own yeah, regardless yeah, of what that fact. is. I think Even Nick I Fuentes think has a fan base. The benefit of, yeah. You get on the internet two plus two could be like five. Bad and, you know, bad and... Yeah, but I mean, I think time. that what we'll see oftentimes, at least what if we're looking at like uh, with social media in general, what we see most often, and I think it's because we are moved more by negativity in general Toxic. than we are the positive things. Yeah, the so you'll the see people regurgitating the, the negative much more than the productive. Yeah. And so that's where, like, and so social media is just one of those things that you would have to make sure that they that the person that you're with is a mature user of social media. They have to know yeah. themselves. Because if you but don't know yourself. ain't that yourself, many, though. It's not that many people that's doing that, though. But if you don't know yourself, you don't know what really fulfills you. If I'm just on the internet and I believe whatever the internet tells me, yeah. I ain't done. The, I ain't spent time with myself to know what I actually like. Mm. I'm just doing everything the internet tells me to like. Think and about like how, true, how many me. books and, and shit that's out now that you can read to. I'm pretty sure it's a book called How to Fulfill Your Partner or something like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Plenty shit of that like that so. didn't exist back in the day. Mm -hmm. It's an audio book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas ain't even gotta read the words no more. But yeah, again, like I said, my, my main piece album. is that like if we if we take the balance of it, and again, I, I think that you probably summed it inside like a, a good way in which but I would say overall both both parties I think it is important to make sure you uh you're inside fulfilling relationships and you're doing your part in it. In it. Yeah. Like I think that that's like in 2023, like we can't like we got we, like what our grandparents did was what they did, and they had a certain 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 yeah. set of circumstances. What our parents did is a certain certain uh, certain set of circumstances. To me, in 2023, um, like that balance of making sure that you are doing your part to make sure that the person that you're with is fulfilled is important. Obviously, both people have to make sure that they do their part. If you want to be in a long term re relationship, you have to persevere. That just is what it is. But um, like that part where it comes down to um, actually trying to be happy, trying to make sure that the relationship is happy, making sure that there's fun times, there's great times. There is. Um, I actually had a meme. We didn't get to it. Like like some of those intentional steps. Like I, it was a meme that was talking about like going two dates a month. Like mm -hmm. make sure you set up that structure. Go, mm -hmm. go and vacation. Like, like stay overnight two times a year. Every two years, try and go out of whatever and, and stay away for multiple days. A week or so. Yes, um, I think like these small, different little pieces of fulfillment and like, like you know, intentionality actually is is like what. 2023 healthy relationships end up being, especially inside our socioeconomic uh, class. I got a question. I just thought about it when you said what you just said about how the fulfillment, we, that, that, that's, you know, you have to have a fulfillment for a relationship to work. But them times when, and you have to do the, you have to continually, or you have to have the perseverance to continue to do the things that give you fulfillment. Mm -hmm. In in the relationship, so my question was going to be: Can you have true fulfillment without perseverance in that relationship? I think you have to have all like no. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, I think you, you okay. like I don't think none of them are, are exclusive. Yeah, no, I, you know I'm actually I, I'm very very much so uh, intrigued and entertained by like relationships conversations. So that's so why generally I try to bring one if I can. If I can't, then whatever. But I I listen to these conversations a lot. I just, I look forward, well, I'm going to say look forward to, we just, the research that'll be done in the next 15 years about our generation and our, and our adulthood, like in our 30s. Our adult once, relationship. Yeah, when I, once we get to a place that we'll be able to actually reflect on what the data actually shows us, I think that's going to be nice to be able to compare to what was quote unquote working before and then seeing what's working now and we're going to see like, we'll once we get before. about 55, I guess in like mid 50s, we'll be able to kind of look back and see. Like what have what have we seen work and what have we seen not work 
And just to kind of see and compare, because I know a lot of a lot of what we're doing in, in society in general, is, I'm, I'm not saying that it's a negative thing or a good or a positive thing, but we'll just have to wait and see that we're pretty much just about everything that they did back in the day. We're pretty much making it like that's like, yeah, nah, we don't need to do that. We're going to switch most majority of the social interactions and everything. We're trying, we're changing these things over to this new created, uh, new just evolved. I'll say evolved way of de de dealing with each other in our community. Um, and just to see in hindsight, like, you know what I mean? What exactly, what does this look, well, not in hindsight, but to be able to look in our mid 50s and see like what exactly was working and what didn't work. And just so that we'll, it's just cause we don't, it sounds like we're, we have answers, but I mean, these are all like, I did fairly, uh, fairly new I ideas that we're implementing and we're going to see exactly what this looks like. from. Do you think that, so I, I guess I, I would ask <clears throat> over the past 30 years, what has worked? What was your question? Over over the past thirty, because you're you're saying like you're forecasting like we got to look back in fifteen years. Um, mm -hmm. so we just look at if we go like the past fifteen years, like the what relationships has worked, that have worked. Yeah, yeah, or, or the past thirty years, what has worked? Because a lot of times we end up going like back to the sixties and seventies and eighties, and what worked inside those time frames. But we've like discounted a whole thirty, almost forty years. Well, um, I think that it's going. It's kind of tough to tough to gauge seeing as though we haven't had enough time or back then there wasn't enough time for us to see enough of what worked to actually gauge what what it's worth we have the 90s 2000s well, 2010s I think like what we, I'm can, talking we can about, see it right I'm, now what i'm talking about is is being able to like for me for instance i've probably not seen it's probably i could count maybe on on one hand how many successful relationships or persevered relationships i've even seen in my entire life so that there's no way and before social media we can't yeah. really sit and like get, now we have the ability to know like i can see that these people were married and then we i will be able to see if they're still married then you know what i mean we have a right a bigger right. so pool, i guess what you're saying is that like your, your circle of people are, like you don't see a bunch of people around you that that have been so of the people that have been successful i guess that's what mm -hmm. i'm saying like so like i said i I grew up two parent household in which like i can kind of like judge johnny you you actually yeah i was going to say Man, yeah. actually, Tone, not tone. Uh, Quest, Quest, you grew up and, and one two parent household, about those, and, and and what what worked inside like and, those. We and what would, you, looking, what would you say were the commonalities that you seen? Because we don't know really what their relationships look I mean, like, but what were like were were, you, were there any commonalities that you did see uh, amongst just like I'm not talking about for like uh, well each of us can or either can answer, but what are some of the similarities that we've seen in those relationships that have persevered all of these years? With like what, my, so, like like my parents? And yeah, like, like your parents. Or, I think it or, might not be hell, too many. Uh, Quintel's uh, parents, out. Q's parents too, and, and yeah, because I mean, like y'all, pretty much the only. I can't. I might forget. I might be forgetting somebody, but it's still it ain't no more than one person that I could be forgetting. You but know I mean, what I mean? So I, think, I mean, if I look at my parents and all my friends and who've had the two parent household and I don't know all their relationships intimately or like, don't be in everybody's business like that. But mm -hmm. I mean, I imagine there has to be a level of like perseverance even through the, the dark times, even through like sure. the times when like that fulfillment or one partner might not have been doing everything. But my my question is more is like, do you, would you say that? And I mean, I know that grew up in a time period where it was of course that this modern thing wasn't necessarily Something that was like a big deal, but would I you say that they had more of a, a modern relationship, or let's say a traditional esque? Or what would you explain? Did both your parents? Are you, are you asking like did both his parents? Like did both your parents work? Yeah, both. Both my, my parents work. Both and, my parents work. Yeah. Okay. So, and I mean, that is to me that doesn't equate traditional or modern. That just mean y'all both work. But when I say, would you say that but, that you have a more, that your your fam your your parents have a more traditional relationship? Or more a modern relationship, and I understand we money or uh, both working is a part of it, but that's not really what I'm. I'm not. That's not just what I mean. I think they're more traditional opinion. based on their views because they're like Christians, and so in okay. the Christian household, the man is the leader of the house, mm -hmm. and like that's something my parents like. The man is like is the leader of the house, like, and then that probably will get a bit of that perseverance piece too, because you're not you're not actually just giving your commitment is not just to each other. Is they a really so exactly so it's a commitment between right? Or, but, is your so, uh, so parents, how do you how, are your parents uh, uh, religious at all? Yeah, uh, so I grew up in a Christian household as well, but I think w the one thing is our parent generation was always go to school, get a job, 
It didn't mm. matter if you was a man or a woman. Yeah. And mm. so that's why we all had those parents that mm-hmm. worked and, and nobody really relied on each other like that. So I think I think really our parents is the transition over to where we are at now. That's where we true. Yeah, so like, like, I think we, we we already had a generation of people where two yeah. parents have worked. Because it's like their no, parents was the nigga. ones with the the oh, dad yeah. went to work and then the you know the mm-hmm. mom stayed at the crib yeah. and then. But I would also say that yeah, there's, all, a, there's all a all of mamas work. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But when I say when, and then just to be well, sure, when I say that. when I say work, it's not like a, like a choice. Like your contribution is requirement for us to up, to sustain the things that yeah, we have obtained. Yeah. This yeah. lifestyle we have. We I think were, my, my my mother would be a little bit less than that. Like she, like she always had a business. She always pretty much worked. Like it, it'd be rare occasions that she didn't work. But even and like you could feel the impact on the household for sure when she wasn't working either. But he, um, but could it ha- could like life continue to happen? Sure, without her. But I mean, actually, when they first moved down here, it couldn't happen without yeah. her working. But what I was gonna say outside of the money aspect, when both people are working, it's just the responsibility aspect. Because so now it's not like if one person's working and one person's not, then this person must take care of the home. Mm-hmm. And that's one person's dedicated job. If they're both working, then both of the people have to split up the laundry, doing homework with the kid, all of that, which mm-hmm. is, may be traditionally the woman's job. If both people are working, now that has to be split up between the man and the woman. And as mm-hmm. a man, you got to come home and you might have to do laundry or cook or mm-hmm. do something like that. I know that. one thing my parents did is like, they do all they talk in the, in the in the bed, like when they go close to doors, behind closed yeah, doors. Yeah, like my, I'm just. That's the thing is they 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 had them conversations. I'm just yeah, they that's where they had the conversations in the bed, but um, I'm just learning things about you know about what how they operated you mm-hmm. know when I was a child mm-hmm. now, so they telling me stories and stuff like that. So I I'm just kind of learning this now. So I did observe certain things, but. I, now I'm getting like the the meat and potatoes of everything. Like mm-hmm. this is how we did. So like, my dad is a nonchalant person, and my mom is the complete opposite. So like that gets on her nerves, and of course my daddy don't. <laughs> don't <get no> <laughs> yeah. So I, I and then that I guess that goes back to um the um what y'all were talking about before. Um, just the the opposite. Well, my mom dealing with my dad being that way. Mm-hmm. But still, you know, stand together despite you know. Yeah, the, this is the how perseverance. Is, so. and yeah. it, that's funny because like I think that the like the the more uh, uh, traditional idea right of of a man is the stoic that he yeah. don't really care so he ain't really about yeah. to talk no whole bunch. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's more of like this. But he'll talk to her though. He'll talk. Gotcha. To, yeah, but we like us as brothers, we never seen that stuff. Mm-hmm. I ain't never seen my parents argue and stuff like that. All that happened. In the now they doing cause they older. They got they they got the old grumpy mm, vibe yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we ain't about to start this right there. That's like, the muppet, yeah. That's, yeah, that's my person. And, not, and, and I think that that's the beautiful place like that. When you get to that place, what's like the and, and generally when you see those ten year relationships, that's what the love looks like at the at that at that point, that's where you're really seeing like that they love each other. Like you know, the way that they talk and like fuss yeah. at each other and stuff. It'd be funny like watching it, but it's like, you know what I mean? They they you can tell that, like you, you've gotten. That's their thing. That's how they work. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna like, tell y'all something funny that happened on last this past week. So my dad, uh, he took an old picture of himself. He had like his reel to reel on the side, and he had like these uh, little short song shirt open, all this stuff. He posted it and had the Migos song, like a Migos song going through it. <laughs> yeah. and I'm thinking he did it by mistake. So I told my mom, I was like. Mom, get your husband, like, take his phone away from her. And she go, why he, did, why he got them little shorts on? Like, it's a, a, a new, new picture. picture. <laughs> <laughs> like, she done seen this joke, but it's like, my dad just be doing stuff, but then he pisses my mom off. <laughs> That's like, good. I like that. Man, I said throwback Thursday. <laughs> Big fact. But no, um, what I guess what I, what I add to it is that I think it, like, regardless, it's always going to cycle around. Uh. And I think that one of the one of the main things that you see with those older people is once you've like reached a certain level of perseverance, like I I, I call one of the stages is like what you gonna do when the kids leave? 
Yeah. When it's just y'all, a lot of relationships go through fall hard apart. times and they yeah. fall off because of that. Because of, mm-hmm. it's easy to persevere when y'all have a common goal. It wasn't no yeah. fun. It wasn't yeah, no yeah. Real. So like you can find fulfillment in like raising the kids and doing shit with the kids. But then when it's quiet house and that is back to y'all two, and y'all got to talk to each other again and be like humans. That, that's something to kind of piece it together. I don't think my parents ever experienced that because my dad already had three kids when they met. Mm-hmm. So I don't think my mom ever has ever experienced. Just them being mm-hmm. in the household, oh, yeah. but at the same time, I don't think that us being kids was the common like the common the, goal that held them together. Oh yeah, because mm-hmm. well, she because they had to have built a relationship of themselves, so, even with kids. With kids so yeah. And when I will, I, but this is the last thing I'm gonna say, and I just want to make I'm just want to say this real quick. Another thing that was a stronghold for the the marriages, so to say, like just specifically marriages that we've seen have the longevity, is that they had a, a commitment that wasn't only to each other. If you have that belief system and that structure, oh yeah, then that comes with an additional tie. It comes with an additional tie that, like you, if y'all, if if you understand, you understand what I'm saying. Like, so it, it's just a lot easier in today's time for us to, because I mean the. I'll leave it at that, and we can just you can uh, put the pin if you like, Johnny. Oh, uh, yeah, now that was a well-rounded discussion. I think we did good with that one, fellas. But uh, I'll go ahead and put a pin in it, and we'll move on. Now, I guess we'll go to mine next, and we'll see how this goes. We'll we'll see how this goes. But my topic was uh, it had to do with AI uh, and. As AI evolves and it gets more advanced, they talk about it's called what Sentinel and how they get consciousness mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and because because they did like simulations and they let the AIs just have relationships and then they start you know having these different questions about existence and meaning of life mm-hmm. and all of that. And my thing is, once we get twenty years from now, thirty years from now, we had these computers and they thinking they really living. What kind of morality do they deserve, or how do we treat them? Do we treat them the way we treat slaves, or do, the way we treat dogs, or do we treat them on the same level as us? Or what about if they're, you know, higher intelligence than us? Because that's the scary part. We're scared yeah. of them. So mm-hmm. I mean, there's a reason we're scared of them, and that's just, you know, my thing. I'll let y'all go, and I'll give my opinion later. Um, I don't know if I like specifically have like an opinion yet. I think that this is like one of those um, higher level, like philosophical uh, conversations. And I think the book that I wrote by was was made from right. kind of like proposes this specific question yep. um, that at what point when something becomes an autonomous system, do you have to evoke some level of morality towards it? And, and how do you do that? Right. And this goes to like, I, I was listening to, and I think we had this conversation a little bit yesterday. I was listening to... Um, is Lex Friedman, and it was another guy that's like, you know what I mean, just super deep into like the space. Um, and they were speaking about evolution. And they were speaking about evolution and they tied it into AI, where they spoke about how like in general, like evolution, like it changes and it looks different over like sections of like time periods and, and, and places. Um, and usually like it's evolving to eliminate like weaknesses. Right. And mm-hmm. it spoke towards how... Uh, with evolution, sometimes it takes turns that you can't see. But like, if you think about what AI evolves into, where eventually AI will be as smart and have the same like capacity and, and capabilities and ability to communicate X, Y, Z as humans and surpass that. But what they don't have is like a lot of the soul. Not even a soul. Like they don't have the like. Get, they ain't got to drink water. They don't need to eat. They don't need like uh, oh, yeah. a, a comfortable yeah, the place to stay. Things that make at. us human, the things that very much humanize us. Right, right, right. So, like, would that be the evolution past uh, humanity? And this is what like every single big sci-fi movie, pro, uh, like, predicts inside like three hundred years or so. Is pretty much man against machine, and the fact that these become sentinel beings and like. They're rebelling against like what human morality has been placed on it, mm-hmm. um, and so like I said, I don't have an answer, but I do. I like I, I'm intrigued in this conversation, and I think it's like this really big philosophical uh, question, in which, uh, like I said, our robot was based around it. it was, what's that movie where the person ends up like 
finally winning humanship at the end um, through court documents and shit like that. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's it's a robot movie. I can't remember the name hey, I of it. I forgot. I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah. But like, it, it's a it's a bunch of things that have kind of like theorized like this entire concept of um, morality with AI or artificial intelligence and where is the line at? Yeah, that's what that's what I was just about to say. Like, if this is gonna happen, like, at what point are they gonna like? What is the cutoff point mm-hmm. to where the humans we gonna allow this to happen? Mm-hmm. Because we ha- right now we have the control of cutting it off at some point. Right? Yeah, mm-hmm. that I mean that's been my only concern I about the AI. Fuck AI. No, yeah. but I kind of I, I kind of I was gonna AI. say that when you said it. Not <laughs> so I, when I you ain't talking the, about when I, you bought the subject of like, Bubba Chuck. Yeah, like, not Bubba <laughs> Chuck. Yeah, not. But, Practice, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like even now, like me being a videographer and photographer, we they got um Luminar that's out there where, mm-hmm. bro, you can pretty much. I, sometimes I use it depending on what it is, Uh-oh. but um, like I did a I did a group photo and it was like the overcast sky and I just replaced the sky, something mm-hmm. simple like that. But it's like. Now we got the AI people doing the AI um headshots and putting it on oh, yeah, Facebook yeah, yeah. like it's like it's them. Mm-hmm. And it's like yeah, it's kind of cutting into I like your profit market. Yeah, the profit market. Yeah. <laughs> so not no, I get it, like though. graphics like 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 Oh, Canva. no, I'm there yeah. with, with with my field. Like yeah, I'm yeah, Canva, yeah. Canva, I can't now. wait to get out, out of this field yeah. shit, they... I, if I'm being completely un- but that was another reason why I wanted to get out of what I was doing. Mm-hmm. It's like to me it, it's it's safer. What was you I was in in banking, oh, in banking. Yeah. Like I li- we literally seen them overhaul a whole fucking uh, home mortgage department, home equity department. Like they're literally just getting rid of the departments. That yeah, AI is gonna AI? They, them automated <laughs> systems. Crazy. They're literally trying. And, and I understand it. It's about uh, it's, it's greed. So you're going to do what makes your bottom dollar the best bottom as you you know what I mean as high as you can make it, mm. which means no PTO, no health insurance, no unions. No, them you hit, know what I mean? No, them none, we don't even don't need bathrooms around this month. We don't even need bat no four hundred one ks. We ain't got to contribute nothing to your nothing. I ain't never heard an algorithm complain. Yeah, none of that stuff. Not once. We ain't got to worry about no raises. You know what I mean? None of that stuff. So I was like, yeah, I did. Be, it'll be tougher than for them to. Uh, AI don't AI. go to HR. Yeah, none of that stuff. Yeah. So that's why I had to go ahead and at first. But then when you let the AIs talk to each other, then that's when they start yeah. complaining. Well, yeah. that's, <laughs> when they start, <laughs> like, what we need being like, like flesh body humans over here fucking with us. That, that, that's what happened, bro. Like when they start, when they get by themselves and the humans go, they be like, yeah. Um, so, so Johnny, I guess if if we move the conversation a little bit further, um, do you think that morality should be placed upon byproducts of AI and technology? No, nah. I mean not human, not the way we look at it now. I mean that's the only way that we keep our advantage. Over it. Is mm-hmm. it, we can't get confused and look at them like they're on the same level of us. Cause that's gonna be like the death, like that's gonna ultimately be the end of us if we start giving them the same rights as we have. Mm. We have to keep them in that certain. So you said that we should. That's why you said slaves. You believe that we should have slave humanoids. Mm. I mean, or, or do you think you should be a, a human slave to a humanoid? Oh, my thing is, I'm not with any <laughs> of the humanoid shit. I'd rather just, you know what I mean? Let, let's not make them look like people, and no, yeah, let's just I, I don't let's leave them, let them, let them keep <laughs> looking like Alexa. Yeah, yeah keep, uh, keep, keep even Alexa, if you go uh, do it, let Alexa can, pop up and just be like roll mist. around and stuff. <laughs> that motherfucker be mist. Yeah. I can exploit mist. <laughs> <laughs> But I mean, yeah. we got, now we kind of got like small little AI things. Like you can tell Alexa get your RoboVac. Yeah, tell, tell RoboVac to back on the floor. Mm. And I'm cool it, with that. Let's keep it in that level. Don't yeah, let's not make them. I don't yeah, need to be walking down the street and they walk by too. Yeah, and, they yeah. Up. and I'm trying to figure out <laughs> if, <laughs> if it's really a, a human or a human. Like, hey, I seen that video you did. I got one for you. <laughs> yeah, I think we had a good point of it now. Like where where stuff at now? Just using it, people are able to use it to help out with different stuff. But I'm like, you got the people who are gonna be using it for these sex dolls too eventually. Like, <laughs> how you feel about sex dolls, here, man? Tone? Hey, I don't want no sex uh, doll, bro. You I think that's a, a sex doll? Yeah, okay. What about <laughs> <laughs> what about if they put Sorry. AI in the sex? And that, doll? that's what I'm talking about. Go that's, gonna ahead, Tom, some, go that's gonna be some creepy stuff. They put the AI in the sex doll because you're gonna have people like having legitimate relationships with 
sex dolls. Yeah, oh here with Timmy got that a now? company that yeah, yeah, they're like, doing humanoids that like they they just figured out how to warm the body the 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 metal up to a room to like flesh temperature so it don't feel like cold and all that so they can actually feel like a person. But what's the point of being humans and like like why would a bro, robot want to be a human? Just stop it, bro. Stop it bro. I agree. I, I, hey, I've been on here. My platform that I'm running, whenever I run for anything that I run, is legislate automation. For sure, right? We need, right? We need to regulate it for sure. Johnny used to say he was running for president, but he didn't tap out. He said he voted for Trump. Trump again, again. yeah. That's he why wrote, voted for Trump again. He go, about, like, hey, 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 I had got that phone call. <laughs> 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 But think about like even like military stuff, how, like drones. Mm -hmm. Drones was strictly a military thing. Yeah. Now you go to Best Buy and buy one. But look, mm -hmm. like, but look how long it took 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 us to even access that. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're gonna do something, like, let's string it out a little longer. Like, mm -hmm. we don't need it right now. I don't. We definitely don't need it. Yeah, now. we don't need that right Especially now. Let my kids, it. kids worry about that. Yeah. Well, and here's one thing yeah, I will say. Too. Here's one thing I will say. I mean, say they about. grow up with it, so they just come out artificial intelligence. They still using the same um speakers at the drive through. You can't hear it. <laughs> yeah, them, if it's one thing about it, like, Burger what? King and McDonald's ain't automating that goddamn system right Hell, there. No, nah, that's just still some shit. I was talking to a dude. Shit. They need to get a robot to fix you, the ice cream. You know cream what the machine. automation <laughs> be? Like they, they, they be having like the ice cream machine. Like, we put the best of money in and we ain't fix the old shit yet. Right? Yeah. When I pull up to a kiosk inside, but I can't hear it on the. I pull up to Popeyes and it be like. Welcome. What? I'm taking that. that, that, oh, that. Yeah. And then they, then we're like, hold on for a minute. Mm -hmm. Then that nigga back over there doing whatever. And then I, I got to say the same thing four times. Yeah. And I be barely understanding what this nigga say. Bro, automate the them niggas. Auto not, not, not my don't bad. Do I don't want to automate them it. niggas. No, don't they, automate no, them niggas can, either. Now, that, but the, upgrade the technology. <laughs> now some nah, of the I'm no, no, talking it. about the yeah. job. Like, the think job. about how many jobs you lose. How many people lose their income? Just Bro, to, they don't want their jobs. Have you been to these restaurants? No, they, they, they don't know that they want their jobs. The back, they don't know the it yet. Replace all the young boys up front taking not, I'm not even saying that. Just let the AI, <laughs> let the AI take my order and then y'all do the shit in there. Mm. Y'all put yeah. it together. That's they, one of the jobs. They, don't know, they, I, they only know the meaning. The dude said in 20... So uh, I, I was, say something. They, they ain't gonna lie. They be turned up in the drive through. These niggas be like having a phone, like the little AirPods in, having full conversations. I don't like talking like, to what, boys, like, like with like, the people that they on the phone with. I heard somebody like she took my thing and she was like, "Yeah, I think I should cancel my account." Uh, them, and I think she's talking about like some social media shit. I'm like, "Hey, hey, hey them motherfuckers at Popeyes y'all enjoying be... work right now." <laughs> I remember being at Bojangles. Like dipping that thing, doing like this, having to do like that, like real manual labor shit, in which I hated it. Them niggas still on like like conference calls with their homies while they doing. <laughs> they don't know that make time go so much better. They don't know nothing about these robots that be able to replace their ass. They acting like mm -hmm. they that's the thing. They sick. That, the thing is, is like, that, why would you be on the phone if a computer about to see the the, wor the worst part about the 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 uh, AI and stuff yeah, is that. Like that. We we well based on previous knots, we understand that a part of being. Uh, feeling accomplished or feeling good about yourself as a human, as your ability is your ability to uh, to work for your, what your your ability to work for what you actually provide per, value to something. Right, right. So, like, if you take away that, and see, it's gonna start with the with the less with the more menial jobs. So, like, dude said in twenty twenty five, there'll be the there'll no longer be people taking your order in McDonald's. They're gonna have just the kiosk I, I by would, itself. I appreciate that. Thank you. But my only thing is that then how many jobs across how many jobs are lost by them just replacing the people that's taking orders? Then where, what are these people going to do? Because you think about it, the, from in. there, where did you go when you when you were younger? From from the from the Bojangles, you went to what was the next place you went to as far as work? You you would be literally going. Oh, I, watched, to, I worked some shit jobs. What I, I, I went you, to Walmart. You, the work, idea uh, that you're trying to increase your uh your increase your pay, so you're going to be going to. Uh, jobs that will provide that are going to be more intellectual based, so your your responsibility becomes. Oh, you want like after graduation? Right, right. I'm talking oh, about yeah, your, yeah. yeah. So, so yes, how about right. say during. So, but during then the thing is, is, what we have to what we have to be honest about is that like there is, and it's not like that a person's lesser than or anything like that. Everybody doesn't common sense ain't common to everybody. We can, we've heard that our whole lives. Common. So everybody doesn't have the same way to analyze a thing. Okay. And yeah. and two, you know what I mean to understand analyze and then implement a thing. The same way as others can. So those jobs are literally about a big part of the backbone to our society. But, mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. why you think about why was why were those the same workers that were mandated that were still what were essential workers while we was uh, shut down? 
Those, those were the people that still the, the essential workers. Those those are the uh, same people that's gonna lose their jobs first. Robot can't catch mm. COVID. But my my thing is, they drop my food off with the drone. Right? Yeah, <laughs> but see, but my thing is, it, it go back to with Darwin. Drone, it, it, it go back to like, if you if that's all you work like, if, if that's all you can do is work at McDonald's all your life. Oh, you're like, and then robots come. It's it, it's called survival of the like Darwinism, like yeah. eventually but, but evolution. Then, the weaker, the, uh, the less smarter for they well, always. Then you are also going. think about what the, the grown people that are probably more than more than most of the grown people that are in those jobs. What do you think the reason that they're there is? Convictions. So we take these people and I, make them jobless. Think all I think, the old people that work it, it. No, no, no. I didn't say all of them. I just said that the, the not old people. I ain't well, talking about old people. Labor. I'm talking about adults. That's what we're talking about. It's yeah, unskilled, unskilled, unskilled labor. labor. Yeah. Uh, but the reality, like again, I, I'm I'm on your side of this. Uh, where I do agree the fact that some of these, like, it's gonna be tough to like put out a good like maybe that it'd be close to like 65 percent of the workforce. Um, and then the question would then be, what the fuck are you going to have them people doing? Exactly. Like, if you got them doing something, then cool. And then you can't even but just throw money at it. But if they're not doing nothing, it. it's going to go crazy. And you can't just throw money at it. That freedom dividend thing, they say, yeah, then they'll just give the freedom dividend. That ain't going to be the answer. You're going to give but you people $2,000 to also still not do shit? And not do shit. They're going to be turned the fuck turned up. Turned the fuck up. <laughs> it don't make no sense. That Just that whole idea. You know how that, many niggas going to get robbed monthly out of these? What? <laughs> what? Smacked yeah, all over the head. But you know what would have happened back in the day? <laughs> like, like back in the day, like if you didn't know how to fish or hunt, you know what you would have did? You would have starved. And so these people ain't. But my thing is, but, but what about the fact that you can fish and hunt, but I can whoop your ass? And I get a gun, I get a bow and arrow, and I get protection. No, but what if, what if you can but, fish and hunt, but that computer has taken all the fish? Mm. Fact. So now you just going in there and you you doing this and ain't shit ever coming back. Yeah, they must have because the, like all the fish is gone and that deer, that veal, that shit gone. So it ain't up for you to eat or drink because of the AI, but the that computer never, that, that took it all have, away. Then happen. niggas would be out here destroying the AI. All the fish. Yeah, Everybody right. be out here destroying know, the but AI. They're, they're taking like a, a specific, like a bunch of sectors of jobs, right? And they, that's they what gonna, fishing and hunting means. It was just they're they, they gonna protect their investment. They're not gonna uh, if if people just around and the AI take over everything, we are gonna be destroying AI. That's all that's gonna happen. Coming with the AI. Well, the AI gonna be putting us inside them little little pods from the Matrix. Hey, hey, yeah, people, people, people gonna start hey, having a war with the AI. That's on, all that's uh, gonna lead to. Oh, Black Mirror. That's oh, Black Mirror. Them niggas was in there riding bikes to keep the keep the power grid. Going. Oh no, I, I, and that I was agree. All but I, 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 I think that. Might happen. And that's I think that that's not, that that's not a far dystopian to like where reality can place itself. Mm -hmm. um, because of, even if you look at that, people were fulfilled at low hanging fruit. So like people were riding the bikes to be able to look at the dumb shit and like, yeah, like like. Yeah, look at dumb shit, earn dumb shit, and be a part of dumb shit. Um, and I don't see that being far from from the truth. Of what, that, like, that actually so was what was their job. It's crazy. You start think, <laughs> thinking about it right now. But people were, are literally these kids and stuff are literally paying for outfits for characters on the games and stuff. Yeah. They're paying for a new haircut on the thing and paying for some tennis shoes and paying for a new character. So these avatars and things like. I think there's a reason that they're getting us adjusted to all these kinds of things. Like, what did I you gotta think what about did I the, the uh, roly poly -oli. My son been looking yeah. at roly poly -oli. My daughters, they like literally looking at, you know what I mean? All of this. And what do you think it come? Well, either way, that they're literally getting us, uh, you but know. I was, us, what, what, what I, uh, me and Johnny was just talking about this last, last night. And what I was telling him was with the whole alien situation that's supposed to be here, mm -hmm. from what, um, what I understand is <clears throat> these aliens are supposed to be like the perfection of us, mm. in a sense. So that's why they push an AI on us to get us prepared to accept these aliens as as a normal as a normal thing, basically. Could be. I, I don't. Yeah. Tell them what you think about that. I ain't even really said right now. Oh damn! I thought that, I thought that was a good tone throw right there. He tone said, turned up on some aliens. I, I feel like yeah, he said the AI gonna be the new aliens. Uh, I don't I don't think the AI gonna be the new aliens. I think no, that's a no, whole different thing. That's yeah. not what he said. Newton interpreted that whole yeah. thing. Newton. So just, that, he won't even listen. <laughs> he jumped yeah, all the way off. Not near the top. That damn. <laughs> now nah, repeat what you just said. But what did you just say? 
No, I was saying that you know the they said they found two and um was it two or three unhuman the, the uh, aliens, pilots yeah. from mm-hmm. that crash. And I was talking to my homeboy, and he was saying that they were saying some of the, the aliens that's uh that's probably been here for a while are actually like a perfection a perfect version of a human, basically. Mm-hmm. So they're pushing AI on us so much. So when they all like when they show themselves, we'll it'll be like a normal thing to us. Uh, I don't know about that. I think aliens are a whole different thing. Like I think that's all. Like I think that's a whole different lane. I'm not saying they don't. You believe in that aliens, that though? Like a- uh. You really want to get into my philosophy on it? Because I don't want to go that deep. Yeah, you know I like unpacking. I think aliens are... <laughs> you know I like unpacking. <laughs> yeah. What hey. you say? You think aliens is what? I think aliens are fallen angels. Mm. Like, like what, what was talked about in the Bible where they said you had like fallen angels and people like Nephilim and all of that stuff. I think the aliens are them people. So you don't believe in like the idea of um, like there being intelligent life inside a galaxy away. You just think that in general... That's, Aliens not, are just fallen angels. But you know I mean, how, like, uh, how angels are described in the Bible too, as well. Like they're like scary as scary as fuck too. So. Yeah, it's not no like it's, it's, it's like we 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 they have put an image um on angels here or, or, or on us growing up as these beautiful things and in the Bible he not. Yeah, I, I've seen like a little picture of like at angels as described, yeah. but I don't, and I don't even, think that even like, directly answered the question that I asked. Well, well even like even from what I be reading, I'm still I'm I'm an explorer of ideas. That's why I don't talk about everything. But so just take this with a grain of salt, as I'm saying it. But like they say the heavens, and as I'm reading the Bible, like I keep looking at the heavens, and like usually when they referring to the heavens, it's literally the sky. Like it's like we be looking at it some other way. But I'm like, okay, what if the heavens is just referring to outer space in the first place? True. I believe that. That's yeah. what I believe. I believe that. Yeah, like, like, like it's referring to outer space and everything, and you have these different beings that are on these planets. But we, like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. But that's just kind of my think theory. Dope, like, I think, interstellar beings from different galaxies are fallen versions of human being or like no, pre- previous human existence. I guess I'm no, trying to understand. I, I don't think I don't think it's previous human existence. I think they they're just different beings across the galaxies and we interpret it how we interpret it on this. So earth. what is it like again I'm not like specifically like, Christian. Well I'm not Christian. So you I'm this, like, this Muslim, isn't, so even, I, this I isn't even just like a, this isn't a Christian perspective because I would say okay, a lot like, of so you're pivoting away yeah, from a like lot the, of Christians wouldn't probably necessarily agree with me, but I am basing this off of stuff that I'm reading in the Bible too. That's all right, what I'm so saying. I'm using the word Christian and I'm meeting like the Bible interpretation. Oh well, everybody who interprets the Bible is. I, not, I like, can't. Yeah. I guess I. I, I I'm it's saying hard for me to get like a. Like I'm a saying if okay for me, I look at the Bible as a history book also. So that's the thing. So I'm not just like if if I'm looking at this history book and I'm studying other history books that go along with it. From what I've seen and how different things coincide, it seems to be that the same story that's being told here in the Bible is the same thing that's being reflected. Like, and, and, and other people have told these same things. They've explained them in different ways, though. I just think our understanding of stuff is different now. Like, stuff is, like, like it's like the game Telephone. Like, as it goes down, the message changes. As I think as time has went through the lines and we went through eons and all of these years, the information has changed through the ages of what's true. Got you. Uh, so what I was trying to directly ask would be from your interpretation of the Bible is that like the best way to frame that? Because I, I don't want to go into the tangent of like not meaning what whatever. It, so your interpretation of the Bible, what are angels? Okay, hold on. If you if if, if we're just talking about angels in general, I think because we, we, like I'm st- I'm trying to stay to the point, and we talk, we said angels, aliens, and I'm trying to like make sure that I stay focused on the, like exactly what you're saying. And how you're interpreting it, and yeah, so I just want want to hear you build it up. I think what you're really trying to do is you're trying to put me into a box. I'm literally that you trying can, to ask like, the like question. <laughs> no, all right. So you you said that you believe that aliens are fallen angels, mm-hmm. and so for me to understand that, I have to have a definition of what angels is, and that's why I'm asking. When I asked it a second ago, you kind of like you said that people interpret it different ways, and then I said I said Christianity. Mm-hmm. And so, like you, you like you kind of like went different ways and like how people I could think take angels. It. I'm literally trying are, to get like your opinion on what I think. Angels are a different type of being. 
literally like like it's a different type of being the same like i don't if you look at how like like quest said just a second ago if you look at how angels are described in the bible it's not like these human figures that we've seen that look like this certain way they're they're a type of being like that has a whole different purpose than us i think and so all right so so again in me trying to understand so typically my understanding of what angels have been or what angels like become are like humans that have made it to heaven and now you're angels. Oh, like no, your grandma's no. an angel, and uh, so so grandmas don't be angels. No, they were. What, 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 what if were, grandma's uh, gonna get were, up there? They were there before before we even. Existed. So what happened when like grandma go up there? So she's not your angel. When people nah, be saying that, they look, just be saying. Yeah, that's, that's a nice way like to make a, people feel like good. That's a nice we, way yeah. to say like you go into heaven and yeah. you know what I mean. That's a, a nice way to give you an idea of what happens after death. But grandma can't become an angel. So I, I'm not. I'm. I'm not going. You, I don't think you. Ever I'm just saying that's what they say. I ain't talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but rough, people, no, but people rough, always yeah. be like my 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 my, my guardian angel is my yeah, grandma yeah, yeah. or, or like I don't think no they literally be talking about that and then like every every depiction of, of <laughs> I don't think they really they be talking about bro, that. like every depiction of like all right go ahead yeah yeah, yeah. But that it kind of goes back to what he but was saying. But that's what y'all say. I'm gonna stand on that. I want. I got one last thing I want to say when we're referring to aliens. Yeah, originally. I don't. Yeah. Think, <laughs> I, I I just don't think aliens. I do believe there are there's intelligent life form in the universe. The, the galaxy and the universe is so big there has to be intelligent life form out there. Mm -hmm. Just think it's too far I, away to cross paths because it's light yeah. years away. I highly doubt that one of them intelligent life forms flew millions oh of light years to Earth just to just to crash and let our dumbasses catch them. Like I don't think we got Newton I think it's, I think it's a, when it, my ideas. With, with I don't Tom, think <laughs> going with what Tony is saying when, when I said I, I, that they kind of makes sense. Like that's equivalent of us going to a different planet and crashing, and then it be it's beings there. Um, it, it, I, whatever. We no no no. I get what you're saying though, but I, it, it would have went good when right after he said it. But mm. yeah, it's, it's it's the same thing, but. Oh no! Okay. Yeah. So that's that's crazy. So, the, oh, is it that we think that all of the let's say alien, let's say that they are, which I, I don't have an, an answer, so I can't say like, oh, I believe this. I hey, I have no idea what the right thing is. So I just like listening to it. But uh, I would say that there, the the idea that we're probably the only uh, intellectual beings. I think that. But would you do you think that all of the alien, let's say species or races, are much more in, uh, intelligent than we are. Probably, a I mean, it's probably definitely a spectrum. There's probably some right, that are man. in their effort stages that haven't got to where we're at. There's probably some that are probably some petri dish like organisms yeah, just yeah, just organisms. Like, it's, but it's probably it's probably some. Bro, I think sometimes like think about the movie Avatar. I think if there are our aliens, I think they're just content of where they're at. We're yeah. the only ones that's trying to. Find Go, other yeah, shit. right. I also think, think about how Avatar was. They lived in the damn tree. Everybody, yeah, they nobody had their cared, own and they they wanted us to stay and away from it. They was who cool. Came down to us, us, fucking with them. We started fun. I, <laughs> I, I, I also think uh, them boys. that hey, trying to find because of something that that was valuable. But, yeah. trying to get some some more and shit to make even, them more they money. Even, they don't even use the shit for the same thing <laughs> we that we would that we that the humans were going to use it for. Yeah. I also think there's some fuck with Avatar, alien right. like societies out there that are completely AI. Like they've gotten more advanced than us to where. Right. So this is like the the, the the boys from Independence Day. Probably man, I ain't, I ain't thought about that movie in years. Yeah, I, mean, <laughs> I, ain't like, about, I, think, I ain't thought about that. I movie. think aliens like how or the Matrix. You, you have plans you in Africa and stuff like that. They they have their way of living and that's. And they just fine with it. I think that's how aliens are in different planets. And like I said, we just the only ones just trying to find every damn thing for no fucking reason. Like we, like, like I say, we... they might be evolved uh, life forms. <laughs> like how we were humans and we got AI. Imagine like us a hundred years from now, how advanced our AI would be. And maybe that's what we consider aliens. It's AI from other. Species of or centuries or, or, or periods of time that they just evolved, and and we're probably like that's crazy. We're like to evolve <laughs> ourselves into one one day becoming 
artificial aliens. That's like, crazy. Like that's, that's where just it like could the go. ocean. The ocean <laughs> can low. Key, the ocean can low key be its own planet if it wanted to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It, it's, well, they said there's places in the ocean that are just as foreign to us as like outer exactly. space. Exactly. So like, <laughs> look, most well, most of the ocean is. is most, I, think it's water, though, right? I think it's aliens in the ocean. I think it's aliens in the ocean. Shoot. I think. Yeah, the ocean is his ocean. <laughs> I was just saying. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I, think, well, we, hey, this, I don't know. This like, is one of those funny conversations. It is one of those conversations. It's one of them conversations just, where it's people like throwing out their theories. You can just look at people's faces <laughs> and like see how they're taking it. But I'm having to understand. This dumbass fucking talking about. It. <laughs> I mean, it, it's not that. I guess. And none of us have the right answer. No. It's literally just. It just. I just be trying to understand like the full thing. Yeah, so, yeah, we just try to explain the unexplainable. Yeah, if, yeah. Uh, so are the aliens in the ocean angels also? This nigga, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know why it's happening. Nigga, stupid. Hey, man. Like I say, if that's hey, how you want to hey, look at it. You know the funny things that when, when, when you think a thing, he expects for you to have it all the way thought through. Yeah. Like, nigga, we talk about aliens. There ain't no way I got the whole, my whole alien worldview. Why we having, put like, together. to me, I, I like to have theories for whatever. We should like, call this show Aliens. Aliens, aliens and angels. Aliens, yeah. <laughs> hey, that's dope. Aliens, angels, aliens, aliens. and AI. <laughs> Triple A. Triple A. Hey, what's well, a good time? I, to... Also, uh, before we go, I'm before we go, I'm going to close it off. <laughs> yeah, we had a good time. I'm going to close it off. Another thing that these angels slash aliens could be, they could just be different creatures from Earth that we haven't been able to detect. They ain't necessarily got to be extraterrestrial. Oh, they, so they the dinosaurs? No, I think you're saying like it, it's uh, no, it's intelligent. Joke, bro. <laughs> Come on, you thought I was serious, bro? There's no way you thought I was serious. <laughs> no, you just. It, it was I'm talking about quick. Yeah, quick okay. He he gonna go with the counter argument. Like I'm, I'm just playing, bro. Well, I'm just. I, 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 we'll, I'm I sure think you're shitting on him. So I'm, just I'm sure him, there's. Like, him, no. I'm <laughs> sure there's. We don't know everything about this world. We just mm-hmm. say we don't know everything about the ocean. And so the aliens just could be something from here that we don't understand and mm-hmm. then we got the technology. Yeah, man, to made understand. of water, bro. Say what? The, the angels the in the water. Oh yeah, angels the angels the and the aliens in the water. But yeah, that's that's Is the angels and or no, it's it, 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 it's an and or. It's an and hey, so or. We're still figuring it out. <laughs> so yeah, it's a slash. It's an and slash or. Bit slash. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. I think I think that was a good one. It was. I fun. definitely think that was a good one. I won't tell. Uh, wait a minute, I'm right here. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and Threads. Hit the notification button up there. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Hey, if you think aliens are real, if you believe in angels, let us know what you think about AI. Uh, and can underwater alien uh, alien angels, angels steal your dreams? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's it. That's, that's the episode it. title right there. Can yeah. underwater alien angels steal alien your dreams? dreams? That's it. Hey, uh, y'all got to put that title though for real. We might get confused. <laughs> Shout out funny. to my boy Quest, special guest. Yeah. Sure. Happy birthday, uh, happy, happy related birthday, birthday. Again, bro. Appreciate right. you pulling up uh, on us. I think I covered everything. Mm-hmm. Anything you know else y'all want before we go? Johnny's P night ain't dropped yet. Oh, okay. we, ain't, we, ain't oh, got, we, we ain't got the link. Oh, okay. <laughs> <Hey>. <laughs> but, <laughs> We're gonna let the show in. <laughs> we talk about it later. Yeah, yeah. Now John, Johnny, Johnny been working on it. He he's been uh, hiring. I think what's home girl from the uh, To Be Fair page? You was telling oh, me that. Man, no, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm your host, staff. Johnny. <laughs> don't ask me the What was the name, Miss? Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. we ain't. Nah, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> we ain't gotta do that. <laughs> Don't ask me the video. <laughs> I can't remember her name right now. I, 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 I want to say it, but I can't remember. Y'all about to lose a follow. I don't think it's Mysterious. But, yeah. Oh, man. Y'all boys. Wow. Some wild boys yeah, on, this, on this panel right here. But I am your host, Johnny P. Oh, here, real. It's Q. Big shout out. A guy called Quest. And we out. We out. You believe in aliens, Tom? I think aliens are fallen angels. So what happened when, like, grandma go up there? So she's not your angel. When people be saying that, they just be saying it. I think it's aliens in the ocean, shoot. So are the aliens in the ocean angels also?